We all crave order. We like knowing what to expect. Think about a well-organized bookshelf or a perfectly arranged spice rack. It's satisfying, right? The same goes for writing. Section intros act as those organizational elements, guiding your reader through your content. They provide a roadmap, making your writing easier to digest and understand. Without these signposts, readers can feel lost. They might lose interest. But a well-crafted section intro acts as a mini introduction, re-engaging your reader and prepping them for what's next. Imagine reading a novel where chapters just abruptly ended and started. Confusing, right? That's what it's like without section intros. They provide the glue that holds your piece together. So the next time you sit down to write, remember the power of a good section intro. It's worth the extra effort to guide your reader and keep them hooked. First impressions matter. The same goes for your section intros. A bland intro can make your reader lose interest. But a captivating one? That's like a warm invitation, drawing them in and making them eager to read more. So, how do you write intros that pop? Keep them short and sweet. Long-winded intros can feel overwhelming. Use strong verbs and vivid language. Instead of saying this section will discuss, try let's explore, or dive into. Don't be afraid to get creative. Try starting with a question, a surprising statistic, or a relevant anecdote. The key is to pique your reader's curiosity and make them eager to delve into the section. Remember, your intro is a promise to your reader. It's a promise of valuable information, engaging insights, and a clear understanding of the topic at hand. Make that promise count. Questions are powerful tools. They spark curiosity, ignite our thought process, and make us hungry for answers. Incorporating questions into your section intros is a fantastic way to boost engagement and keep your readers hooked. Think about it. Have you ever read a question and couldn't help but try to answer it? That's the power of a well-placed question. It transforms passive reading into an active mental exercise. When crafting questions for your intros, make them relevant to the section's content. If you're writing about the benefits of meditation, you might ask, feeling stressed and overwhelmed? Discover how meditation can bring you inner peace. The beauty of questions is that they create a natural flow into the rest of your section. By posing a question up front, you're setting the stage for the information that follows and prompting your readers to actively engage with your content. Remember, engaging content is all about connecting with your audience on a deeper level. And what better way to do that than by sparking their curiosity and inviting them to explore the answers alongside you. You've asked the question, now it's time to deliver the goods, the answers. But where do they fit best? Should they come right after the question in the intro, or can you make your readers wait a little? The answer is, it depends. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. Sometimes it makes sense to address the question immediately, providing a clear and concise answer up front. This works well for factual or straightforward questions. However, if your question is more complex or requires a more in-depth explanation, consider placing the answer strategically within the section itself. This creates a sense of anticipation and encourages your readers to stay engaged as they search for the answer. Think of it like a treasure hunt. You've given your readers the map, the question, and now they're on the hunt for the treasure, the answer. The key is to make the journey just as exciting as the destination. No matter where you choose to place your answers, make sure they're clear, well-explained, and directly address the question asked. Remember, you're on a mission to provide valuable information and satisfy your readers' curiosity. Section five, call to action, inspiring engagement and action. You've captivated your readers with your engaging intros, thought-provoking questions, and insightful answers. Now it's time to take it a step further, to inspire action. That's where the call to action, or CTA, comes in. A CTA is a direct invitation for your readers to engage with your content on a deeper level. It could be anything from encouraging them to leave a comment, share their thoughts, or visit a website for more information. The key to an effective CTA is to make it clear, concise, and irresistible. Use action-oriented language that tells your readers exactly what you want them to do. Instead of saying, if you enjoyed this section, try, share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, a CTA is not just about getting people to click a button or fill out a form. It's about fostering a sense of community and encouraging your readers to become active participants in the conversation. So, the next time you're wrapping up a section, ask yourself, what do I want my readers to do next? Then craft a compelling CTA that inspires them to take action. Know you've been a good friend 
Section 6, Surveys and Comments. Encouraging Interaction. Want to create a thriving community around your writing? Encourage interaction. Surveys and comments are fantastic tools for achieving just that. They transform passive readers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and providing valuable feedback. Surveys are a great way to gather specific insights from your audience. You can ask them about their preferences, opinions, or even their experiences related to the topic you're writing about. For example, if you're writing about travel, you could ask, what's your dream travel destination? Comments, on the other hand, provide a platform for open-ended discussions. Encourage your readers to share their thoughts, ask questions, or even debate different perspectives. This not only boosts engagement, but also provides valuable insights that can help you improve your writing. To encourage more interaction, make it easy for your readers to participate. Provide clear instructions, keep surveys short and sweet, and respond to comments thoughtfully. Remember, fostering a sense of community is all about creating a welcoming and inclusive space where everyone feels comfortable sharing their thoughts and ideas. Section 7. Intros for videos. Lights, camera, engagement. Moving from written text to the dynamic world of video, section intros are just as crucial. In a video, you're battling for attention against a sea of distractions. A strong intro grabs viewers from the get-go, setting the stage and piquing their curiosity. Think of your video intro as a movie trailer. It should be short, attention-grabbing, and give a glimpse of the excitement to come. Use visuals that pop, music that sets the mood, and text overlays that highlight key takeaways. Just like in writing, questions are your secret weapon in video intros. Ever wonder how to bake the perfect chocolate chip cookie? Boom, you've hooked your viewer with a relatable question. Don't forget to tease what's coming next. Give a sneak peek of the value viewers will gain by sticking around. In this video, you'll learn the secrets to baking award-winning cookies. Remember, a captivating video intro is your chance to make a killer first impression and keep viewers glued to their screens. Section eight, the recap key takeaways for mastering intros. Let's recap the essential ingredients for crafting intros that shine, whether in writing or video. Clarity is key. Make your intro a roadmap, guiding your audience through the section's content. Keep it concise. Short and sweet wins every time. Avoid overwhelming your audience with lengthy introductions. Engage with questions. Questions are your secret weapon for boosting interaction and keeping your audience hooked. Strategic answers. Place your answers thoughtfully, either immediately after the question or strategically within the section. Calls to action. Inspire action by encouraging your audience to leave comments, share their thoughts, or visit a website. Embrace interaction. Use surveys and comments to foster a sense of community and gather valuable feedback. Video intros matter. Grab attention from the start with visuals, music, and captivating questions. By mastering these elements, you'll transform your intros from forgettable to fascinating, keeping your audience engaged and eager to devour your content. Section 9. Practice makes perfect honing your intro skills. Mastering the art of crafting compelling intros doesn't happen overnight. It takes practice, experimentation, and a willingness to refine your skills over time. The good news? You can start practicing right now. Revisit old blog posts, articles, or even video scripts. How can you make those intros more engaging? Don't be afraid to experiment with different approaches. Try starting with a question, a surprising statistic, or even a personal anecdote. See what resonates best with your audience and adjust your approach accordingly. Another helpful tip is to seek feedback from others. Ask friends, family, or fellow writers to read your work and provide honest feedback on your intros. A fresh perspective can work wonders in identifying areas for improvement. Remember, the journey to mastering any skill is paved with consistent effort and a willingness to learn and grow. So keep practicing, keep experimenting, and watch your intro writing skills soar. Section 10. Conclusion. Your journey to captivating content. Congratulations. You've embarked on a journey to elevate your writing and video content by mastering the art of crafting captivating intros. Remember, your intro is your reader's first impression, their invitation to dive into the valuable information you've carefully crafted. By embracing the power of clear, concise, and engaging intros, you'll not only keep your audience hooked, but also foster a sense of community and encourage deeper engagement. So go 